Hi, it's Dr. Smith from Wheaton Central Surgery with another video explaining how things are working at the practice in order to help us provide the best care that we can for you. Now, I wonder how the last few years have been for you and your family. We know for most people it's been a very, very difficult time. And we'll see on the news how the NHS is struggling uh, to meet the demands for the healthcare of this country. And that's the same locally too. GP practices and other services are struggling with the amount of demand that there is at the moment because people are really struggling. So what can we do to try and help? Well, we've got a new initiative here at Wigston Central Surgery that we hope is going to help you get the care that you need and going to put you in touch with the people you need to see in the most timely fashion. We're calling it Patient Service Advisors. So who are patient service advisors and how can they help you? Well, every single one of our reception staff is going through additional training so that they will become patient service advisors from the 1st of April. This means they'll be able to find out from you a bit of information about the problem you have and then signpost you, point you in the right direction so that you can get the care that you need as soon as possible. Now, it might be that you need to see one of the GPs or one of the nurses or phlebotomists at the practice. But there are other services now available to us that we might be able to help with. If you have a musculoskeletal problem, it might be that they suggest you want to see a first contact physiotherapist. If you have problems with your medication, we might be able to help out with our practice pharmacist. For some more minor illnesses, it might be that they point you in the direction of your local pharmacy. And we've got a separate video coming out about that shortly. The other thing that they might want to do is to put you in contact with the urgent care centre if we don't have any capacity to be able to see you that day but we feel that you would benefit from being seen. In addition to all this, they may well feel that you benefit from being in touch with our social prescribing team who can help with all manner of issues uh, to do with loneliness or housing issues or money issues or being able to further support you in a variety of other ways. So our hope is that our patient service advisors will be able to knit together all of the different services that are available to us and put you in touch with the person or the people who are going to be able to help you best and in the most timely fashion. So from the 1st of April we'll go live with this new initiative with our patient service advisors. But what does this practically mean for you? Well I think it means three things. The first thing is this. But when you ring us up to make an appointment, the person on the other end of the phone will want to know what the appointment's about. Now we understand that you might feel slightly uneasy giving lots of information over the phone. But rest assured, they'll only ask relevant information that will help them to point you in the right direction to get the care that you will need. So when you ring up, expect to be asked a little bit about the reason why you're ringing up. The second thing is this. It's possible that you might be directed in a different direction than a GP. So be aware that there are other services available. We've already listed some of them here. And the third thing is this. You can be sure that they're doing their best to get you an appointment with the person that is most suitably placed to be able to help you with the problem that you have. And we're aware that every single resource is stretched. And so we're really keen to make sure people are pointed in the right direction to see the person that's going to be able to help them. So I hope that's been a helpful video introducing you to the idea of patient service advisors. It's worthwhile pointing out that this initiative is being carried out across all the GP practices in Wigston and Oakley. We'd be grateful if you'd be patient with our reception staff as they take on this new role and work hard to provide you with the care that you need. We'll see you again soon.